What is up guys? This is Muley Maniac coming at you from my local pond here at Avamore. And we're gonna be doing a little fly fishing today for uh, panfish and some bass. Um, this is my first time testing out my new GoPro. So I just wanted to see how everything works and give you a little rundown on what we're doing today. So here I have my a uh, lightweight fly rod that my grandpa actually left me when he passed away and we're gonna be throwing this little white popper to start out with um, it is a nine foot rod and super light super light setup for today um, here I have one of my fly boxes here nothing special just some Mostly nymphs and stuff because I do a lot of trout fishing. Um, and then this box here is special to me even though everything in here is really old. This was also my grandpa's. Um, a lot of his old go-to flies um, for fishing out on the Yuba River and California. And then we just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. Um, some tippet, some dry flies. And that's about it. So coming up here in a few minutes, I'll get back to you and we will go out and see what we can catch. I got the chest mount here and I'm super excited. This is my first YouTube video and my first time using a GoPro camera. And uh, I'm excited to bring you all along. We'll be back as soon as we can. All right, maniacs, let's see what we can catch here. We're gonna give it a shot. This is my local neighborhood pond. There, it, there are a couple eight pound bass in here, but throw in this little guy, this little popper here, we'll probably just catch a bunch of bluegill. So, let's give it a little, give it a little fling here and see what's going on. So typically I catch small little just bluegill, little teeny, teeny bass are in here. Um, but there are some monsters and uh, usually catch those on Cinco's and stuff like that. But for today I figured we'd just get the fly rod out, test out the new camera, give it a shot, see if I can't get some some bank bluegills here also i have not fished with this fly rod in a long time i've been using my dad's sage rod it's got a much better tip on it for a really really small style fishing like this but you never know oh got a little tangle there There's a lot of junk in the water right here, so keeping the fly clean is a little tough. And typically the bluegill start to bite later in the afternoon, but I didn't have very much time today, so we're just gonna give it a shot here and see how it goes. Well, there we go. There's number one on the fly rod. I'll pull up some of that line there. Oh, got a bunch of junk on him. Well, look at that, there we go.
Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice little gill. Took it like a champ. Got that little popper down there pretty deep. Well, there we go guys. Look at that little guy. Not a bad fish for the fly rod. Super fun. We'll get the release on this guy and try to get another one. And bam, there we go. On the fly rod. Hell yeah. It's always fun catching little fish, but big fish are fun too. Let's see if we can get another one. Just giving it nice easy pops. And I'm letting it sit. And they like to come up and just hammer it sometimes sometimes they're real light mouthed and like i said earlier there's a bunch of junk in the water here so i am having to clean the fly off like every other every other cast which kind of sucks on that fish catch i forgot to press the record button and then noticed it was not recording until i had the fish on well i'm still trying to figure out the gopro game but there's a learning curve to everything and it might take me a little while but i'll figure it out I still have to, oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, putting up a, a nice little fight there for us. There we go, he knows he's on camera. He's gotta look bigger cause he's on camera. Oh, he's small to go to the reel, but I had too much out. Oh, we got a little bass on the, Look at that guys, we got a little bass on the rod. Nice little bass on the fly rod. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There we go guys, look at that. He choked it. Choke the little popper. Nice little pond bass on the fly rod. Yeah, I guess the fish are a little hungrier today. Let's get a release on this guy and we'll get back out there and get another one. We'll name that one Chad. That was a Chad fish for sure. Definitely a Chad. All right, that's fish number two in about 10 minutes. And it was a bass. Bass out there in a little bit deeper water. Just came up and smoked the little mini popper.
like I said earlier guys there are some monster fish in here but for one they get fished all the time so they're pretty hard to catch and uh, I've only had good luck catching them on Cinco's and every once in a while I'll throw a nice whopper plopper for them uh, one of the whopper plopper 90s seems to work pretty well but I'm just out here testing out the new camera and even small fish on a fly rod are extremely fun. Oh, damn, did you guys see that? We just got smoked by a little bass. A little bass just came up and smoked it. And I am by far not the best fly fisherman in the world. I just kind of started last year and uh, did a little bit of fishing, not much. We went up uh, on the Salmon River up north, northern Idaho near Chalice. And that was the first time since I was a young kid that we actually got on some good fish. Me and my dad, that was super fun. We went up and found a beautiful spot on the lake, or on the river. And that's where I kind of picked up fishing, fly fishing again. And see, that's the only problem with this pond is throwing little flies like this, you gotta keep them super clean all the time. But, let's see if we can get another strike. There was a pretty good strike right here. And I keep getting tangled in my damn boots. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to cut the video for a minute until I find a pattern. And of course, right when I say that, I get a strike. And I was looking at the GoPro and not looking at the, the lure. I would like to get some, some GoPro shots. Uh, fish hitting this little popper because they just explode on it, but I'm having trouble finding them right now you Might have to move over to that side over there. There's some good spots on that side of the pond that are deeper And that's where I've caught my bigger bass and my bigger bluegill Is over there But I will come back to you guys in a little bit and we'll do an update in about 10 minutes if I find any more fish. All right. Well, once again, guys, once again, I get hooked up right when I turn the camera off. And this is a nice one. All right. There we go. Look at that. Hell yeah, look at that gill. Beautiful gill for this pond. On the white popper again. There we go for size. Womp womp. Sweet, let's let them go. Well, guys, you're not going to believe this, but I just lost my popper. So we are going to have to go through the fly box 
And we're gonna have to find another fly because I do not have another popper in that box. <sighs> well, I guess that's fishing. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Well, there a minute ago, I lost my popper. So now we're going to throw just a little dry fly that I found in my box. It's close to the same size. It's definitely not the same size, but that's fishing. Uh, I lose stuff all the time, sadly. But as I was tying, there's a bunch of fish right here in this circle right here. So we're going to try fishing here for a little bit longer and then we're going to head over and fish that that bank all the way up to the the waterfall there and then there's another pond up above that with some monster bluegill in it but ain't nothing but to do it let's do it right now let's get this fly in the water and we aren't looking for mule deer today but we're having a great time and I really like this rod. I don't know who makes it. It doesn't have a name on it, but my grandpa and my grandma both got into fly fishing a little a little while before my grandpa got sick. And uh, he had a beautiful sage rod, same size, nine foot. And then this one was my grandma's. And she she fished for a little while and then when my grandpa passed away, she gave me and my dad all of the, their fly fishing stuff and all of his other rods. And that's where all my flies and everything came from. I haven't bought any flies personally. Um, I just have so many from what I got from my grandpa that I figured I'd try those out before I went. All right, guys, well, we made a little bit of a move from over there now we're gonna fish this bank here up to the waterfall there and uh let's see how we do i'm still messing around with the gopro i'm not quite used to it yet and i'm still trying to figure out what angle i should have it so that i can get the fish captures and i know the wind sound is probably horrible but let's go ahead and give her another shot. I'm sure the wind is howling and probably not making this very good, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> Always right in the corner of the mouth there. Right in the mouth. Surprisingly, they don't swallow these little teeny flies. But there we go. This one's Jethro. We'll let Jethro go. I was just saying earlier, what if I caught like one of them five pound bass in here on this super light fly rod? I believe it's a five, a five weight or a six weight. I'm not sure. I, like I said, there's no markings on this rod. All it says is it's a nine foot rod. And then there's the reel I'm using. Not sure if it's a good reel or not. I like it a lot. The only problem is I reel left-handed and the crank is on the right side, but I've figured out how to get over that problem. It's not like bass fishing where you're on the reel all the time. Oh, I just got hit by a bass. That was a bass. He came up out of the water for that one. I'm really trying to get my dad to come down here and catch some of these fly fishing. Or fly fishing for bluegill with me. I mean, I know they're just bluegill, but they are fun.
See if I can get that bass to hit again. I'm pretty sure he got it in his mouth and he lost it. But like I was saying earlier, I was looking at a bunch of different GoPros and I just couldn't see myself paying $400 for a GoPro. Especially since it's my first action camera, my first camera ever in general at all. And I don't really need anything too extravagant. I just want something I can share my experiences with you guys and do some small product reviews and stuff like that. I'm sure someday I'll get into a nice camera, probably upgrade this GoPro in a, in a year or so when I get really used, when I get better at video editing and better at everything that I'm doing. What's up guys? So I forgot to do an outro at the pond, but now we're on the way back home. And after I lost that popper fly, didn't do as good as I was earlier, but we still caught a couple. I was having problems with the GoPro SD card, um, but I got those figured out and I will have another video up as soon as I get back out. Thank you guys for watching and have a maniac of a day.